by RF, um, just as a bit of a an option if uh, other op- uh, methods were unavailable. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, mate. For sure. No worries. I'll um, I'll get going for the time being, but I'll um, I'll let you know when I get the antenna connected over, and I'm I'm listening on a frequency on forty. VK two DLA. This is VK four MJC. No worries, sir. I'll uh, yeah, I'll be listening, mate. I'll catch you later. Uh, VK four MJC out. No, 73s, Matt. Right. So for that to happen, um, we'll just connect it up in main settings mode. The DMR uh, ISPC to VK hotspot. And selected the talk group. Um, pretty simple. And to uh, actually set up Droidstar, initially I'm just going to uh, settings tab up the top here. Um, uh, yeah, so into the main settings. Obviously, and on my call sign up here, I might try something different. And on my call sign up here, my DMR ID there. I just gave myself an a, a ID extension because I I use uh, I've got three hotspots running, so I just made myself five. I could have just left it as nothing; didn't really matter. Um, the password. You only need the password for DMR, if you're gonna use this on the DMR network. Um, And this is the brand, DMR Brandmeister hotspot password that you set up yourself. I'll show you how to do that. Um, I just entered me Latin long. Don't really have to do that, obviously, but anyway. Um, My location, number six. And then number seven, I just, uh, description. I've just got an Android phone portable. Um, right now in here, DMR plus options. This one here. Um, I've left that blank to operate on DMR. And I just select the DMR talk group from the main screen just by entering in the talk group number. So that DMR plus options um, it looks very similar to the hotspot Pi Star setup where if I wanted to leave it on a DMR talk group permanently, I'd type in uh, the DMR talk group I wanted to stay on. So it'd be something like time slot two underscore position one equals three eight zero four. If I wanted it to stay on talk group three eight zero four. If I wanted it to stay on talk group five oh five you just type that in time slot two um, underscore position number one, which is position one equals five zero five. Now these are for time slot two um, talk groups. Obviously, if you wanted to go to the international talk group, which is a time slot one position, I believe you just do the same thing, but just put in time slot one underscore number one equals one, uh, which is talk group one. So you just need to check out what time slot, but that. That's, you only do that if you want it to load into the same talk group every single time. If you don't, if you want to change talk, be able to change talk groups, we just leave that blank as it is. Um, um, with the, these ones here, I've just left them blank. Uh, nothing in there. This is, comes up as the default, so I've just left that. I haven't touched it. Left the mic gain how it is. Haven't touched that. Um, what I have done, though, and what you probably need to do on a regular basis, and what you need to do on a regular basis is update these two. So all you do is just push, and it'll come up and say it's updating, and then push that one, and it'll come up and say it's updating. So it's pretty simple. 
and then down the bottom here um, I've just ended my call there I don't know if I really need to but just ended my call sign there again I haven't worried about the others your call I haven't worried about this or that or that and I've left them blank um, yeah yeah so in the setting screen like I was saying um, update host that's all you do you just tap on it and it comes up saying check log tab for details and then update the ID files go to the log I'll show you down the bottom everything's updated so it's connecting where is it connecting to there um, and that looks like a conversation actually well there you go Matt that's your conversation DMR RX ended blah 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 um, and then down the bottom after I've disconnected from the conversation it's updated the hosts um, as you can see so, so it's updated all the hosts uh, which is in this location here so you can see there it's updated NXDN well P25 well, DMR FCS YSF which is the ASU NXDN and it's also updated whoop, all the um, DMR IDs down here so it's pretty straightforward I'll just clear that so yeah settings so as I said settings are quite simple go back into the main and then if I want to connect all I do is tap on the connect and bang I've connected so I'm now connected to 38, talk route 3804 on the DMR market network, which is also known as DMR Plus. Uh, if I want to uh, disconnect from that and change networks, so just disconnect there. Go into here and keep it as DM, I want to keep it as DMR, but I want to go into the Brandmeister network now. So just scroll right to the very top, Brandmeister Australia 5051. I want to change the talk route to well, talk route 91. We'll see what happens. Connecting radio. So for all intensive purposes, I should be connected to Brandmeister DMR Talk Group 91, which is the international talk group. So to use uh, DMR through the Droidstar app, um, you need to go into the Brandmeister uh, web page, um, which is just brandmeister.network. Or just Google brand, DMR Brandmeister. Um, they just go into Google DMR M E I S T R. So Brandmeister B R A N D M E I S T R. And that's it there. Top one. Um, all you need to do is just go in and tap on register and just create an account. So it obviously asks for your call sign, um, an email address, uh, what sort of account, uh, security, just confirm a password, any spam and so forth. Um, once you get an email back to confirm, you log in, go back into the same page and just tap on login. sign into your Brandmeister account. Rightio, so this is, this is the Brandmeister dashboard. Um, right, so this is the Brandmeister dashboard, so it shows you how many repeaters are connected to the Brandmeister network worldwide, so 4,816, so it's a hell of a lot more than DMR Mark. How many hotspots are connected? 14,000 hotspots are connected to the network. There's 44 master servers connected at the moment. And as we speak right now, there are 267 voice calls in operation right now. When I turn the screenshot off, you'll see that change as people disconnect and connect and talk and don't talk and things like that. All right, so as you can see down the bottom there where it says voice calls, you can see that changing.
That's because the amount of people talking at the moment it varies. Um, it's quite a good little dash dashboard. There you go. There's the map, the world map. And that shows you right now what countries are in transmit and receive are, are transmitting. So uh, there's users in Australia that are transmitting, in the US that are transmitting, South America, um, China, uh, and so forth. So it gives you an idea of who's transmitting around the world right now. You can also go here to um, voice calls. And when this load, this takes a little bit to load, but it'll show you all the current voice calls. There we go. So it shows you who's talking at the moment. Um, how long they've been talking to, everything else, all their information, how they're coming into the system. So you can see some coming in through DMR, some are coming in through C4FM, which would either be P25 or Yaesu Fusion. Uh, there's a D-star down the bottom that keeps taking off on me. So people are accessing the Brandmeister network with all different types of uh, digital technology. Anyway, to um, set up a, a login password for Droidstar for DMR, just tap on your little profile picture, go to self-care, go to load your self-care page, self-care settings. So this is all my information I've just loaded in. Um, you set up your APRS, so it does it does operate APRS. So for GPS enabled radios like the uh, HD1, Alliance HD1, um, I believe that works. And also I know the uh, Yaesu uh, FTM400 and the um, FT3D uh, work. So you can adjust your APRS interval in seconds. So I've changed mine to 120 seconds. I've changed my APRS call sign with an extension um, and you can change your APRS icon. I've just made mine a little, a little truck for the time being. Uh, now what you need to do to access DMR, which is probably the most important thing, down the bottom here where it says hotspot security, you need to turn this on. So that one right there. So by default that's off. So you need to turn that on and then just enter a password down here. I just made it four, four numbers to make it easy. And then just click on the save button and it'll save it. As soon as you've done that, give it 30 seconds to a minute. Um, it'll replicate in the system. Then go back into Droidstar, go to your settings. And that's where you enter your password in here. So whatever password you've put in as your hotspot um, password, you enter it into that. Then that'll get you on the air on DMR. Uh, so just to reiterate, so that's going back into Droid's, uh, sorry, Brandmeister self-care settings. And down here, um, where you turn your hotspot security on and then just enter a simple password and then just click save. That's all you gotta do. Go back into Droidstar, connect. Now the only thing I haven't figured out with Droidstar yet is how to keep Droidstar uh, running in the background. So right now, you'll see it's connected. If I get out of that tab, go into this tab and then come back to that tab, it's disconnected. And I've gotta press connect again, so every time Droid Star disappears off the screen, you've got to reconnect so you can't have it in the background at, that I can see at the moment. Uh, reading some of the forums, they reckon it does work in the background. I've just got to find someone that tells me how to get it running in the background. I've checked my settings in um, Android for the apps and there's no option for it to say or to enable it to run in the background. It doesn't come up with that option. It just comes up with notification options. So anyway, that's, um, that's how to get Droid Star up and running. Like I said, if you want to use it on Yaesu Fusion, you don't need a password anyway, so you can just go to YSF, select your talk group, or your room that you want to talk on. We'll go to the UK Aussie, um, click on connect, and it's now connected. What else have we got? You've got P25, so 10400 
get rid of that talk group ID. 10400 is the Pacific repeater talk group. It says down the bottom there, host Pacific P25 repeaters. So that connects all the P25 repeaters in Australia together into this talk group. Um, what else have you got? You've got um, I haven't used NXDN at all. Um, but Brandmeister, let's go back into we'll go oh uh, Brandmeister, whoop, I better connect to an actual uh, talk group. So you just type in the talk group number there. Click on connect. Push the transmit button to transmit. And uh, Kilo Oscar 4 Alpha Yankee Alpha, this is ZS6ZA. Well, there we go. I think that's a South African station. So that's on Brandmeister Talk Group 91, which is the international talk group. Yes, this is Kilo Oscar 4. Alpha Yankee Alpha, greetings to South Africa. That's Over. An American station. So right now, if I wanted to talk, I'd just talk to them. I'd just press the transmit, big blue transmit button at the bottom of the screen. Yes, good morning, uh, Ginger. The name is Etienne. I'm in Johannesburg. You're coming through loud and clear. Just answering your worldwide call there. Thank you very much for coming back to me. Uh, Kilo Oscar 4, Alpha Yankee Alpha, ZS6ZO. And that's as simple as it is. And this this is through the Brandmeister DMR network. Greetings, ETN. Uh, yes, my father spent almost a year in Africa back in the 1950s. So there you go. Uh, collecting animals. I disconnect from the network by tapping disconnect. Uh, go down to the log. You can see um transmissions you can see what we've done i've disconnected reconnected to different groups uh, different servers different modes so it logs it all for you and then when someone starts talking it shows you all their id uh, all their data as far as uh, receive transmit shows you their radio id by the look of it yep um and like i said you can clear that and that's just running on those basic settings so it literally took me like two minutes three minutes maybe to set this up and get it up and running Anyway, that's um, the Droid Star tutorial. Uh, so this is for Droid Star version 0 0.34 beta. So this is 0 0.34 beta. So this is uh, what is what are we in Jan the um, 30th of January 2021. As far as I know, this is the latest version. Radio Huru.